All right, we are kicking off the work week with um, some smoked low and slow barbecue. We're yes, excited yes. to welcome someone new to our kitchen, Smokey Moe's Barbecue from Main Street of Mount Carmel. We have Shelly Grizzle and Danny Walker here yes, with us. Welcome yes. to our kitchen. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. We're excited to be here. We are excited. And you got to turn around because we got to see the backs of uh, their shirt. Yeah. It says, mm -hmm. Leave them wanting mo, and that is what you're going to do today. That's exactly so, and right. you're going to have to wait because they're actually closed today, but they open tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. So excited to have y'all. Yes, ma'am. What an here. honor. Thank you guys so much. Let's share your story a little bit because brother sister. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma so it's a family business. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and that has absolutely. to be cool. It is very cool. It's wonderful to get to work together with family and friends in the community. Um, we started about a little over a year ago in a food truck okay. yep. and decided that we really would like to have a more permanent location. So um, it's great to be able to. What a great way to like baby step your way in, you know, oh, the food absolutely. truck. And then when people were like, no, we need it again. Yep. We need more. <laughs> we want a place to sit. Yes, and Danny, you're like, okay, I guess we could. I get <laughs> open up a restaurant absolutely yes. yeah it was it was wonderful the way it worked out you know because food truck seasons kind of ebb and flow with mm -hmm. the events and festivals and stuff like that and so we found ourselves always waiting and then rushing and then waiting and then rushing and so we just kind of wanted to step into a more consistent role of working and being able to provide jobs for other people food trucks kind of hard to do that because our heart is to really also be a restaurant for the community yeah and so we couldn't do that in a food truck so when the brick and mortar became available and the lord just opened up that door we were like we're just going to go through it this is it we're Absolutely. walking through and the yes, community has been loving it i saw some yes. pictures on facebook yes ma'am oh the food looks amazing and the restaurant just looks like a place that they can come and hang out yes. and enjoy yes. their food yep and we look. really like to try to have like a clean just welcoming environment yes. and that's our goal with delicious food. I yeah. mean, look at some of those pictures. Burn they look, what is that? That Lots is a smash huge. burger. Smash burger. Yep. Oh, yep. You that's all our all-American smash burger. Those are really popular. Our slow-mo nachos on tater tots. It's got all the stuff. That Waymo right there plate? is probably like three people eat that. It's a Waymo I'm plate. It comes with all of our <laughs> meats. It's it's insane. <laughs> we have had one guy eat it no by himself. Way. Yes. Did it he was, get a free t-shirt or he, something? We need to get him one. <laughs> we need to get him one because it was quite impressive, man. Uh, it was quite impressive. Well, we're impressed by what you also brought to our studio kitchen today. Yes, ma'am. Because it smells so good. Let's talk about this brisket you have. Yes. Poor Chris, if he was here, he would be, yeah. He, I mean, this is... He mm -hmm. saw us on his way out and I know, said, I did. wish we were staying oh, here. Oh, I was yeah. like, well, we may leave some behind for you, Chris. So if, you're <laughs> get to, if you get back to the studio, we got a little piece for you, I promise. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But yeah, so we, we take this, we slow roast this for probably 13 and a half hours. Oh, wow. It's about how long okay. it takes to, to, that way you get all these nice smoke rings around it. You get the juices coming out of the brisket when you're cutting it. And uh, man, I'm here to tell you, oh. you, can't, you can't go wrong with a brisket when it cuts like that. It yeah. really is incredible. That and is so, beautiful. you know, our brisket plates usually come with about six ounces of brisket on it, two side items, and Texas toast, your choice of barbecue sauce as well. And so that mm. is one of our major selling items. And then I guess, you know, not to sell us out for the next um, scene that we're in here in, but next time we're going to make a sandwich out of this stuff and it's going to be incredible. You oh. don't. It's absolutely going to be amazing. It is a beautiful cut of meat. And what was it like for you guys when you opened the doors? And of course, they're familiar with the food because yes. you've had the food truck before. Right. But to be able to come in and have that camaraderie and that sense of community, I think that it brought to you guys. It was amazing. It was great to just see the happy faces and everyone, you know, being what we were being welcoming there. And it was it was really wonderful. Experience. It was, you know, because in that food truck, you're, you're constantly separated. Yeah. You're constantly behind the veil, if you would. And mm -hmm. so this gave us a chance to invite the customers closer yes. and to be a part of the restaurant, not just come and look at a, you know, a metal box. And yeah. so it just, we wanted to create an atmosphere for our community. And you did it over baked beans, slaw, and barbecue. Yes, yes. ma'am. And you brought a big, oh, these look amazing. Yeah. And you said your, your beans are something to talk about. Yes. Right? Now we have had a lot of, a lot of comments about the beans. I don't know. Actually, I do know what Look it is. I know what's in them. I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm not going to tell y'all what's in them. Something special. Something yeah, special. Right? It is. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> and uh, so I've had a lot of people say, man, I don't know what y'all do, but it's awesome. And so, and then of course, like you were pointing out up there, those pork rinds, yeah. you know, we do those ourselves. We don't buy pork rinds. We actually fry them in house and they come out popping. 
So, so you like can cracking. still see yes, like you little can, explosives you at can, your table. Exactly yes. right. They come out cracking and popping and people are like, <laughs> yeah. I promise it's safe. Okay, yes. it ain't gonna pop on you. It's like those fun candies you used to. Uh, yeah, yes. pop, rock, pop exactly rocks. right. So yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, we're gonna come back. We're gonna make a sandwich. We're gonna talk about their catering. We're gonna talk about their other jobs. I love that you guys. There's so much to learn. This story just keeps evolving. So we're gonna share it with you coming up. Shelly and Danny, thanks so much for Absolutely. joining us. Thank you all. It is right here in Mount Carmel. Don't forget they are closed today, but they're open Tuesday through Saturday. Smoke. Smokey Moe's Barbecue. You can find